Hi. So today I wanted to just quickly show you how you can make a node follow a path like this inside of the Godot game engine. So first of all, let's just create a path to D. So this path to D node allows us to use these controls up here. Now let's use the plus mode to create a path. So we can put our nodes like that. And it's going to let us place points all over the place essentially. I'm just going to do this very roughly right now. And that's pretty much our base path done. Now what we can do is if we go into edit mode here, we could do something like place additional nodes in between to make this a bit smoother. But another thing we can do is we can click the select control points mode, which allows us to round out the stuff. So we can make rounded corners instead of just straight lines between all of the points. And then you can use that to really fine tune what you want your path to look like. So yeah, the path doesn't need to look perfect right now, but I think you get the gist of it. This is how you can really get the shape down just how you like it. Now, how do we actually follow this path to D? Just putting our go dot icon here I'm trying to move on there isn't going to work. Instead, what we can do is we can use the path follow to D node, which if we just type path to D it already shows up right under it. And we can make that the child of the path to D node. Then we put our go dot icon or whatever it is you want to move as a child of that again. And that's the hierarchy we get. I just call this path follow to D node go dot and this go dot icon. Let's move that to be roughly aligned, or I could even say position zero, then it's perfectly aligned. Now on this one, let's say not to rotate for now. I'll show you what rotating does in a moment. So at this point, what we're going to want to do is we want to create a script. Now I'm just going to put this onto this path follow node because that's the one we're trying to move. So let's do this. Go here, create the script. And as for any type of movement we want to do, first of all, we can just define a speed. So var speed is equal to, let's say, 300. And then all we really are going to need here is the process function or physics process if you prefer. And then we can say offset plus equals speed times delta. So the offset, if we go here, let me just set this to a value. You can see the offset is essentially what controls our position on the slider. The slider is a total of 4560 something long. That's how long the path is. And with the offset, we can set exactly what the position is. So if we increase the offset like this, using our speed and delta to make sure it's not lag dependent, then essentially we can just make it follow exactly the entire path. So let's run it. And there we go. It follows fine. Now, as you see here, it's actually going to be looping by default. We can disable that. If we disable loop here, it's just going to stop at the end. And additionally, I'm going to turn on rotate now so you can see what that does. So as you can see, the go dot icon is always going to be rotated to be facing in that direction. It depends on what kind of art you have and what exactly you're trying to do, whether that is what you want to happen. Of course, you can't only make sprites a child of this. You can put anything you want in here, like an area to D or something for collision checking. That way you can essentially turn this into a tower defense game or something of the sort very easily. Anyway, this was just a quick tip for how you can make something follow a path in Godot. That will be all for today. Bye.